Okay, so we're going a different direction, aren't we? All right, so you gotta come out. Yeah. All right. Hey everyone, Desert Gold. Uh, my previous video, it was the AK-47 throwdown video I did a little while, about three weeks ago. I mentioned that I was sprucing up my LWRC AR-15 upper and um, in the interim I have decided to go in a completely different direction so pulling out the LWRC barrel and it's a 5.56 um, I'll be using it in another build, I'm positive. Uh, these are nice barrels in themselves too, obviously. Um, melanite, um, polygonal rifling. It's just a gorgeous piece. But I was kind of... Uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I was kind of how shall I say, getting tired of putting together 5.56 five, weapons because I've got a bunch of them. And so I uh, wanted to go in a different direction. I've got the AR lower, so what did that, what options would that leave me, you know? You could do um, AR-15, which I, I said I'm tired of. You can do 6.5 Grendel. Um, you could even do like uh, they've got some 50 BMG uppers for these things now. Um, 300 Blackout um, was a distant consideration, and then the actual choice that I made was 6.8 SPC. Um, I chose that over the 300 Blackout because it is superior ballistically to the 300 in almost every um, bullet weight and uh, uh, range and shooting uh, that the 300 has. So I intended to do a little more um, longer range shooting with this even though it's not quote a long range weapon. It is still uh, capable of you know seven eight hundred yards uh, and still being uh, supersonic at those distances so I went with that and ordered which came in today uh, today is a kind of a happy day I've got uh, some new stuff to cut that came in uh, let's start off with uh, first got a BCM uh, mod 3 Gunfighter uh, charging handle. I chose that one because it had the big, the biggest latch on it. My clumsy hands. I, I need every assistance I can get. The other thing I've, I've ordered in a few of these uh, POF MP3 treated um, uh, roller cam pins. They're going in all of my bolt carriers from now on. I really believe in these things. They work. Um, this one is a Adam's Arms uh, bolt carrier with a nickel boron 6.8 bolt in it and a POF roller cam. I am not uh, actually putting this bolt carrier in this weapon. Um, I've decided to go a different route with the gas piston system and I'm waiting for the last part to show up. Well, there's two more parts to show up and this thing will be built. One is the uh, uh, new gas system. I've, I've gone away from Adam's Arms for a number of reasons. I'm going to do a future review comparison uh, between the Adam's Arms and the one I ordered, which is Superlative Arms. Um, awesome, awesome gas piston system. So it comes with its own uh, 
melanite treated uh, boat carrier as is this one uh, but uh, the differences are, are more advantageous to use that so I'm just using this to uh, as a place saver for right now also got in a Diamondback is the VTRS uh, uh, BRS uh, handguard. I love these things, man. These are the sharpest looking handguards. They are so light. I like that uh, beveled front look. It's just awesome. Even their barrel nut is, I mean, it's finished to the point where you want to almost have it sitting outside so that people could see it. That thing is gorgeous. It's Finished, highly polished. It's it's a nice barrel nut. And uh, the other part that I'm waiting on is I ordered the diamond head T brake that goes with this look, and it should be here this uh, this next week. So the last item I got in today is a new barrel from. AR-15 Performance. I don't know if you guys are familiar with AR-15 Performance, but these guys are top-notch. In barrels for 5.56, 6.8. Um, this thing is beautiful. Let me get it unwrapped here and we can see what we got. Alright. Here it is. It is the uh, 18 inch 0.750 uh, gas block. It is a 5.8 by 24 pitch on the uh, muzzle threads. This rifle is a 1 in 11, now get this, 1 in 11.25 hybrid. 5R rifling. Um, the barrel is melanite treated inside and out. Um, it's it's just a, a gorgeous barrel. Um, I went with the hybrid rifling and the 5R for its uh, for its impact on how the bullet travels down the barrel um, as opposed to 3R or 4R, 5R has a uh, opposed land and groove um, orientation putting a less of a pinch or squeeze on the bullet as it travels down the rifle which uh, should impact the uh, accuracy of the round leaving the weapon. Also it um, has less deformation of the, the bullet as it's traveling down the rifling. So, interested to see how all that works out. I'm going to get this all put together. Uh, hopefully by middle of next week I'll have the finished product and I'll do a, uh, a review on it. But uh, this is going to be short and sweet. I uh, just wanted to share you an update on my 6.8 SPC. Oh, this is a Spec 2 barrel, by the way. So, for now, I'm going to go out and drink some more beer, soak my ass in the pool. We had a cooling spell today, can you believe it? It was 118 a couple of days ago and it dropped down to 106 today, so I don't know whether to get out a sweater or go in the pool. Anyway, everyone, you guys have a good day, have fun, be safe, Desert Gold out.